Okay, just a quick update. Today these arrived. These are 0.3 millimeter helium strips and they are embossed somehow, how to say. That should make the welding process easier. And I will try to weld these to a battery. And I will also try to see how usable the automatic mode is. I completely removed the foot switch and as you can see I replaced it with a short. So when I power it up it will detect a shorted foot switch and jump to automatic mode. And yesterday I also noticed that the shape of the new tips oops I shouldn't have done this. That's the danger of automatic mode. <laughs> The shape of the new tips seem to be too sharp and the the tip is too small and it sticks to the weld. So I will soften them a bit. Hold on. You probably cannot see it, but I softened the tips a bit. And, and these scars should remind me that I still have to add heat shrink tubing and that we are dealing with very high energies here and we have to be careful. <laughs> so here's the battery. Let's start with 30 joules. I think I have overdone it in the last uh, welding attempts and I will start with a low energy now. And let's see. Let's find out what the right energy is. Okay. That's 30 joules not quite enough. 60. 60 joules something. Seems to be good. Oh, not yet, not yet. Almost. 80. I will take a new one. Oops. Okay, we have to be careful. You have to be determined when you use the automatic mode. And don't hesitate when doing the world. This is how it looks like. So 0.3 millimeters helium strip, no problem. And I also want to know if it also works without these embossed um, areas. Just bare metal on metal. Same energy, 80 joules, automatic mode. Okay, maybe we need 100 joules. Well, we still have some more room. The unit goes all the way up to 500, so I think we have plenty of space. I will try 150 now.
I can still lift it up. Okay, we go to 200. It's a bit difficult if you use to do this with the camera in the way. Oops. I think I have damaged the battery now. It doesn't smell good. <coughs> yes, I've melted a hole into the battery. So it works, but it's definitely not recommended to use it on 18650 cells. I think I have misunderstood the working principle of these. You are not supposed to weld this spot against this spot, but you have to weld this spot against this spot. And the slit allows the current to go down into the battery and then up again. Let's give this a try. It's not much left of, of my battery here now, but I think it's still enough. That's working much better and you can also see there is also much less coloring of the weld. Working really good. Oh, this, is, this is stiff. And one last note about the electrodes. I've softened the tips a bit, rounded them off and you can see they stay clean. So I think they are quite long lasting. This is the color after, I don't know, 20 welds. Quite good. Okay, once again, thanks for watching.